So while I was at Black Hat and DEF CON, uh, my coworkers kind of got creeped out when I was fanboying over presumably ordinary patrons. Uh, for them being in the industry as long as they have been, they had never heard of any of the content creators that I was beginning to spout out. So this episode is dedicated to you guys. Today, I'm gonna go over my top cybersecurity content creators of 2023. Let's go. Welcome to Cyber Studies. If this is your first time here, my name is Giovanni. Thank you so much for stopping by. So this is not an exhaustive list or in any particular order of importance. Um, I will organize them by the medium that they're on, uh, but please let me know if I missed any good, you know, content creators down below in the, the comments and I'll make another follow-up video. Also, at the end of this video, I will do like a screenshot friendly uh, card so if you wanted to, for like a reference later on, um, you can just screenshot it on your phone or your computer and reference it for later on. Starting with my favorite medium, the YouTubers. Arguably the OG of the entire space, Hack5 has been uploading cyber content for the past like 18 years. Uh, with their roots kind of being more of like a public access, like Wayne's World style um, content, <laughs> their, their videos kind of started out as like a, uh, like an instructionable, you know, tutorial style things on how to hack things in the local space. Uh, as time had gone on, they, they basically evolved into like a media network hosting, you know, collaborative, you know, episodes with other content creators, as well as doing like product launches from their Hack5 store. Uh, and then they're currently more in this vibe of doing the threat wire or their, you know, one to two times a month uh, news feeds. Uh, Shannon Morse does a really good job doing those as well as uploading on her own personal YouTube channel, The Morse Code. Uh, and and their, their content is, is just so vast and so wide, you know, it, it, all over the place. You really can't go wrong. That You can get a little bit of everything from their channel. Um, so this is what I highly recommend at like the top of your list. Another one of my favorite YouTubers is John Hammond. Uh, talking about a good time proposition, you get to kind of indulge in an entertainment slash learning experience with John's stuff and it's more of like a raw format. Uh, you know, there's some things that he's very proficient in. There's some things that he's kind of digging into for the first time. But uh, he really sticks in his own lane when it comes to the blue team stuff, whether it's, you know, reverse engineering, malware analysis, threat hunting, uh, product reviews, what have you. Uh, John does cover a lot of things in the blue team space. It's arguably one of my favorite um, defender content creators out there. Another one of my favorite YouTubers is the Cyber Mentor or the TCM security team. Uh, while primarily this like pen test red teaming content. Uh, Heath Adams and his team are starting to get into the, the blue team space and they actually have a Defender certification on the way, which I'm really excited about. Uh, but they're primarily known for this like zero to hero YouTube content where it goes for like for four to six hours at a time. So you really like do this one video and get a really good head start on your learning. Uh, but I, I really cannot recommend their content enough. It's very genuine. It's not too, you know, sales pitchy or, or you know, dramatized. It's very to the point and, sh and straight content. I really can't recommend their stuff enough. So while more of a generalist, Network Chuck's content is very fun and, and very digestible. Um, <laughs> his, his topics are, are, are covered are very relevant and very important. And his use of graphics are extremely uh, helpful in, in visualizing a situation. Um, my kind of general approach with this is say, for example, there's a content or a topic I'm not truly um, up to date on, I'll try to watch Network Chuck stuff first and then try to pair it with like supplemental uh, content or information, how to get like a more holistic approach on things. But I really like his quirkiness. He's very light, you know, very, very fun and entertaining. And his stuff is very unique compared to the others in the space. Last but surely not least is Cyberspatial. Um, it's, it's kind of frustrating because their, their content, their, their storytelling, their production value is through the roof, but they're, they're kind of in this inactive state because they're working on their uh, their startup, their, their tech startup. Um, so I, I cannot recommend their stuff enough, but I really wish they would make more videos. <laughs> I can make a one hour YouTube video alone on just the, the, the content creators in this space. But uh, here's some honorable mentions right here. Uh, some extra ones to kind of go down that YouTube rabbit hole. Now, sometimes we probably shouldn't be watching YouTube videos in the car, and this is where podcasts come into play. While technically a YouTuber, I enjoy watching David Bumble's content while I'm doing something around the house or on my way to or from somewhere. Um, but his stuff's really good in the regards that like, he'll bring on guests from different walks of life, uh, from different parts of the industry, and his stuff is really entertaining. The, the folks are, are, you know, really well spoke. Uh, everything about him is just really good. So while technically not a podcast, uh, I listen to his stuff more than I watch it. 
Arguably the most famous person of this whole list is Dr. Johan Ulrich reporting live from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, he is the Dean of Research with the Sands Institute uh, and does a really good job putting a good like five to 10 minute uh, dive on like a podcast that's happening every weekday. Now, what's really cool about these is you do get like a little like bite size uh, tidbit on what's going on in the landscape at the moment, uh, but you can also kind of pivot to other podcasts or kind of get the, the juices going for your research when you get to the office. Another one that's really good for news and a good daily listen is the CyberWire Daily. This one is a little bit more higher production value. It is more of like an orchestrated piece. But what's really cool about this one is you do get a, a larger segment of time to devote towards specific, you know, topics in cybersecurity. Uh, they do have some other spinoff podcasts, but this is the one I really recommend. It's a good one to have in your rotation for podcasts. Another really famous one is the Darknet Diaries by Jack Resider. This one is a little bit more fewer and far in between with about one to two times a month but these ones are, are almost like a true crime style podcast so they go over things like uh hackers breaches and cybersecurity, um shadow government activity and anything in between really uh the content is very widespread and he does a really good job kind of explaining it in a technical sense um i really do recommend it it is definitely one that is again you know here and there as opposed to like a daily listen but primo quality stuff's very good I, I really do wonder if it's just one person running the whole, you know, podcast. <laughs> so a few times a year, I do like to do like a cybersecurity certification, not only to stay more competitive in the market, but also stay sharp between the ears. Um, I do go down the Udemy or uh, LinkedIn learning paths uh, for more of like a formalized approach on training. I passed the Security Plus exclusively because of Professor Messer and Mike Myers. I listened to their content as I was driving to and from my commute from my uh, former job. But uh, Professor Messer will do is he'll upload an entire course worth of like YouTube videos uh, in seasons. So he'll do like Security Plus, Net Plus, what have you, and, and like the CompTIA trifecta. And then he'll supplement the uh, the content as it needs to be updated. Now he does offer a like a members only course where you can do like live you know study groups or like cohorts but his youtube content is supreme it is so good as mentioned mike myers stuff is really good uh he, again i used his stuff on udemy back in the day for things like security plus and cysa uh but his content is really good um he has moved to i believe it's totalseminars.com it's like an external platform so his own like thing um i can't speak to it i haven't used it myself personally but i do know that like Back in the day, I enjoyed very, you know, wholeheartedly spending the 40 to $50 for his courses on Udemy. Uh, so his stuff was very good, very entertaining, very lighthearted, very, you know, uh, funny. Um, and you really need that when you're learning these kind of like monotonous, tedious, you know, tasks and these certifications. So Mike Meyer is another one that I really hold near and dear and is, is a heavy hitter in the certification scene. Between Udemy and LinkedIn Premium or Professional, whatever they call it, Jason Dion is another household name when it comes to certifications. I used his stuff for the CYSA and it was top, you know, top notch stuff. I really do recommend it in the sense of like a comprehensive full picture, um, not as heavy as the visuals when it comes to like Mike Myers, but very good, again, top notch stuff. Last but not least is Mike Chapel. Now I've used his content in the past for CASP as well as CISSP. Um, his stuff is so good. And he has this like this interesting corporate sounding voice like in a good way where it just it resonates, it, it moves and grooves. It, it sounds really good. His voice is, is radio quality. Uh, <laughs> he also kind of like, I don't know if he invented the glass chalkboard, but like he uses it like he did. Like it, it's one of those cool like tools that's in his like utility belt where he's able to kind of show something, make it a little more digestible. And these, these, these level three certifications are a lot to take in. So, so any sort of tool to make it more digestible is very well appreciated. But as promised, here is a comprehensive list, a uh, snapshot of all the creators that we talked about today. I truly want to express my gratitude and my undying appreciation for all the content creators I put on this list. If it wasn't for you all, I really wouldn't be here today. Uh, from my career to this modest, 
YouTube channel. It's all based on your guys' shoulders. So I'm very appreciative. Thank you so much. I'm also very excited to see where all the new content creators are taking us in this ever-growing landscape and the roles we'll be playing in our community. If you enjoyed this video today, you may also enjoy this playlist right here where we go over the most influential books of cybersecurity. Thank you very much and have a good one.